Hi there, today we are going to test whether a flower press or a heavy book presses and dries flowers better. To start this project, we'll need a flower press or a book press that you've been told looks just like a flower press. Video link to make such a press will be in the cards. And you'll also need a heavy book. Other supplies you will need are some cardstock or watercolor paper, thin cardboard, and parchment paper. And of course, lastly, you'll need some flowers, or as in my case, weeds. To acquire the flowers I used for this video, I took a stroll through my gardens and yard and plucked any bloom I thought suitable for pressing. Once you've collected your supplies, it's time for pressing. I cut some cardboard from a cereal box along with cardstock and parchment paper down to the size that would fit in my book press, I mean flower press. To press and dry flowers, you need to make a sandwich of a couple layers of cardstock followed by the flowers. then parchment paper covering the flowers, and finally top with more cardstock. This is all stacked between two slices of cardboard. Once you've made your flower sandwich, carefully place it into the flower press to prevent any shifting of the flowers. Then tighten the nuts down on the press. If pressing flowers in a large book, follow the same steps to make a flower sandwich. When I pressed the flowers in the book, I did leave off the cardboard and I didn't find it made any difference. Lay some flowers on cardstock, cover with parchment paper, and top the sandwich with more cardstock. Carefully place the sandwich in the book between the pages. Then place something heavy on top to help compress the pages. Place the press and heavy book in a safe spot and wait three weeks. Yes, I know. Three weeks. Once three weeks, or in my case four, have passed, remove the flour sandwiches from the press and book. Then admire your beautifully pressed flowers. To be honest, both the flower press or book press masquerading as a flower press and the heavy book pressed and dried the flowers equally well. I personally couldn't discern any noticeable differences. The main issue being that this process takes some time. So make sure whatever method you use that you do not need that book or press for anything else for a few weeks. But what you may ask, can one do with dried flour? Well that my friend will be the topic of another video. So hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out. My name is Pam and this is Total Pamarchy, the craft channel with a little anarchy. Until next time. Flowers, 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 weeds. <laughs>